I'm Karen Larvik, and I am now semi-retired, but I have been professor of piano and pedagogy at Eastern Illinois University for many years, and more recently at the University of Missouri in Columbia, where I met Deborah. I've known her for about 12 years now, I think. What is special or unique about Deborah? Well, in addition, of course, to her limited sight, she is a very positive personality. And she has had many personal and professional obstacles to meet in her life, but she has persevered and she has risen to overcome many challenges, particularly in recent years. I think her Christian faith and outlook on life has made her a very special person, a very special teacher and a warm and loving individual as she deals with people around her. The other question posed to me was, how has Deborah affected my life? Well, as I mentioned, I was a professor at Missouri, and Deborah, about 10 or 12 years ago, um, was a member of my graduate piano pedagogy classes. At MU, her disability had not discouraged her one bit. And she was, in fact, because of her maturity and because of the obstacles she'd already dealt with in her life, she was a um, wonderful motivation for the other students. Her maturity came through and she was so eager to participate in class, she really set a standard for preparation and involvement. Most of the other students, of course, were younger, and they really, I think, were amazed at what she had already accomplished. She was always prepared, always eager for new challenges. Well, since that time, of course, I have kept in touch with Deborah, and we have become friends. She's continued to inspire people in her life in many ways, with her equestrian accomplishments, with her excellent piano studio, a studio that she has developed since she finished her work at MU particularly, with her loving support of her husband Jack in his illness, in many ways in this community. And Deborah is a loyal and a loving friend, so I consider myself a privileged person to know her and to have her friendship.